Hello and thank you for joining me here at this beautifully presented home near the city of Cambridge today. My name's Holly and Fine and Country have invited me to take a look around this contemporary five bedroom family home with open field views and modern interiors. So let's head on inside. Now this spacious entrance hall with the galleried landing is flooded with natural light thanks to the double height glazing around the front door. And this room is so spacious it could even have even more furniture in here, maybe some understairs storage, although there is a boot room just here and a WC, great for storing those muddy boots after a dog walk in the countryside. Now, while I love this chandelier, I think I would go even bigger and bolder in this space. The theme is very monochromatic, very contemporary, and it definitely sets the tone for the rest of the home. This open plan kitchen come dining come sitting space is very special because it spans the entire rear of the property. It's very stylish, very trendy and right up my street. Coming first over to this sitting area, we've got fitted shelving with down lighting and lots of cosy furniture as well. I love that this room has French doors out to the patio, making it lovely and bright again. And in the summer, I bet this is the perfect spot to sit and relax with the doors open. So this room would probably end up being your more informal family room because there are lots of other reception rooms in this house, including one that you're getting a glimpse of just over my shoulder. But first, how fabulous are these bucket seats around this dining table? This would be a great spot to enjoy a home-cooked meal prepared for you in the high-end kitchen. The kitchen has been fitted by Tom Howley with a range of Miele and Siemens appliances, plus these luxurious stonework surfaces. As I say in most of these tours, I love a kitchen breakfast bar and this one is no different. I particularly love the three symmetrical light fixtures up above. And similarly to the living room, this space has trendy down lighting in the cabinetry, really finishing the room off for me. There is also a handy utility room just off the seating area. This garden room is the epitome of elegance for me. It's a kind of cross between a conservatory and an orangery, and I think it's been really well styled. The lantern window up above just lets the light flood in, and of course there's windows and doors all the way around, looking out to the garden and the views beyond. How perfect would it be to lose yourself in a good book in here, the glass of red in your hand, watching the fire burn away? Now, shall we step outside? This home was completed in 2019, so it's about five years old, and the interiors and exteriors have that charm that you would expect from a bespoke new build. Outside, this home boasts impressive brick-pillared remote oak gates to the front, which open onto the sizeable driveway, complete with a double garage. Then to the rear, there is this simple yet very large lawn area, great for a family with kids. There's also the patio terrace with space for alfresco dining. Then at the end of the garden, there's a small wooded area creating a peaceful and inspiring setting. Halton is conveniently situated for easy access to Cambridge and Royston. The village offers a range of local amenities, including a village hall and the historic Hare and Hounds, a community-owned public house dating back to 1879. 
This property enjoys a central village location, making it an ideal choice for those seeking both convenience and a vibrant community atmosphere. Halton is approximately six miles from the historic city of Cambridge, renowned for its prestigious university, its historic architecture including the iconic King's College Chapel and picturesque River Cam make it a popular destination. Cambridge is less than an hour from London, King's Cross by train and has easy access to the M11. Just off this hallway there is another reception room currently utilised as a playroom but I think that it offers plenty of flexibility and if it was me I would probably be turning it into the ultimate state of the art home office. This sitting room is at the front of the house and as I said earlier this would probably be your more formal seating area. There is a sweet kind of half bay window, a wood burning stove and a lovely neutral colour palette, giving this room a real sense of tranquility. Now, should we finish the tour upstairs? Upstairs is laid out in a kind of H configuration, so we've got four bedrooms on each corner and then a fifth just through here which is set up as a dressing room, a very smart decision if you ask me. And then there's a family bathroom serving two of the bedrooms and the other three are en suite. But first off I want to show you the principal. This principal suite has the benefit of being at the back of the house so you get to take advantage of those beautiful views when you wake up in the morning. And this room, similarly to much of the house, is very minimal in its design and as you'd expect with a new build, there's recessed lighting in the ceiling. And as I said, next door there is a dressing room which I think is absolutely necessary in a principal bedroom. And then just through here is an impressive ensuite. A freestanding bath is one of my favourite features of any home and this contemporary bathtub is particularly attractive. Now this bathroom has lots of room in it, room even for a walk-in rainfall shower with these attractive tiles. There are three more bedrooms upstairs so let's go and take a look. I love that the owners have used the front bedrooms in this home as their kids' bedrooms, but they are also a really great size. Coming in to the guest suite now, which mirrors the principal suite on the other side. There is plenty of room in here, room enough for a four poster bed and a sofa as well which I think makes this room feel lovely and cosy. There is also an ensuite shower room completing this family home. I really love how modern and spacious this home is and its location so close to the city of Cambridge makes it a real winner for me. Now we go all around the UK looking at some of the finest properties on the market so if you want to join us on our next tour make sure that you subscribe to the Finding Country YouTube channel, like this video, comment where you would like us to go next time and I hope to see you then.